Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a general love tale reading for all of my Tauruses who are watching. So if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Taurus, in your reading today, I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is making its way towards you. This energy may already be in your life currently, Taurus. But before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign. So it may or may not resonate for you here specifically. And if it does not, Taurus, please don't take it personally. But without further ado, Taurus, we will go ahead and officially begin and get started here. Let's see what energy we have making its way towards my Tauruses when it comes to love here. What energy is making its way towards Taurus, please? Very first card is the World card. So we have the World card for Taurus. Following the World, let's see what else we have. The High Priestess. The World, the High Priestess. What else do we need to know when it comes to love? We have the world, the high priestess. We have Taurus's energy. We also have the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles for Taurus. Who is this person coming towards Taurus, please? We have the world, the high priestess, three of pentacles. What else do we need to know, please? All right, we do have the five of swords here, Taurus. Five of swords. Let's clarify the Five of Swords energy for Taurus, the Moon, Piscean or Cancerian energy. One more energy for Taurus following the Moon. Let's clarify the Five of Swords. We have the Moon. We also have the King of Swords. So Taurus. Let's go ahead and do a recap of what we have so far. The World, the High Priestess, Three of Pentacles here. Five of Swords, the Moon, and the King of Swords. So, Taurus, I do feel like for you there is a decision to make up and coming, but I feel like it's important for you, Taurus, to not rush yourself and do what is best for you. And sometimes it's it can be easy to think about doing the best thing for everyone involved, but there are a lot of times, Taurus, so where you will have to make the decision solely based off of how you feel, and that is not selfish here. So currently, I do feel like you are single, Taurus, and this person that you're making an making a decision in regards to, it could be someone you already know, so someone from the past, someone you're not with currently, or it could be someone new here. But where you're at now, Taurus, the world and the high priestess, I, I do hope when I say this, it does resonate, but you may be feeling better than ever or even that sense of clarity coming towards you, having peace of mind, feeling grounded, feeling control for yourself, Taurus, feeling like everything is working out, everything is coming into alignment and maybe even thinking about the past, how the past happened and how things worked out. And it's like, if that didn't happen how it did would things be as together as they are now so i feel like you're you're feeling more in sync and in alignment with how far things have come along and where you're at now taurus so we have the world card that's completion um that is for me reaching the top taurus and feeling the successes reaping the rewards from everything that you've gone through or all the things that you went through Taurus and now you're here maybe feeling content or feeling comfortable in the position you're at now and I feel like you feel guided and or yeah guided and guarded I think that's the word I want to use but highly spiritual abundant perhaps having your intuition really speaking to you things are discerned 
toward or coming across things with discernment. Um, I also feel like your eye for things, you may be able to see or sense things from a mile away, Taurus. But that's because of how tuned in and tapped in you are towards yourself, Taurus. So shutting a lot of things out, you may have even like took a break from like whether there, it could be a, mul a multitude of things, but it could be social media, it could be junk food tourists, it could be people. But I, I feel like you have been guarding or, yeah, guarding your energy tourists and you feel heightened or it's like you feel the, the benefits of that too. But I feel like in regards to this new person or someone you already know coming towards, they're thinking about what you two built together or what you two had going on. Maybe when things were great, when things were good, the effort that was put in from both sides and that effort may have not lasted forever, Taurus. It may have split apart, but I feel like, and this is more so if this is someone you already know, Taurus, so I'm thinking about collabing with you, but also this new person trying to collaborate with you, work well with you, become a team with you, Taurus. But I feel like with that decision I mentioned in the beginning, Taurus, it's like you don't want to be held back or limited or jeopardize the position you're in now. And of course, we'll know more with the cards yet to come. But that's why I also mentioned taking your time and not feeling rushed or pressured to take your time here doing what is best for you. Because this love offer coming your way, I feel like it might um, capture your interest. And it's like, I'm doing well on my own, but yet again, it's like I, this is kind of on my mind. Like, it, it's one of those things where if we didn't know about something, we would have carried on as normal. But now that we found out about something, we, we're thinking about it because part of it is whether it be intriguing to us, it's interesting, it's worrying. Like, I feel like something or someone got your attention to us and now it's like you're paying that that area or that person some sort of attention to us. And maybe an easy way or an easier way to go about this to us is what type of energy do you get with this Five of Swords? Is it that headache? Is it overwhelming? Is it exciting, Taurus? Because I feel like thinking about this person, whether they be new or old, it brings you back. And perhaps you can reminisce when the love was felt, you felt loved, you felt seen, the good times, but also those memories, those moments could be disheartening because of perhaps what you went through or the hurt that you faced. But with that decision towards King of Swords, you've, you've learned, you've grown, look at how far you've come now, the world. So you have this advantage when it comes to internalizing things, but also putting it together, mapping it out and doing what's best for you. So I feel like you are going to make a decision that makes sense for you, Taurus. So thinking calculative, calculatively, and I also feel like you're not trying to sacrifice or jeopardize something. So, or what you already have going on. Following the King of Swords for Taurus, what else do we need to know here? Okay, we have a Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, Taurus. Let's see what else we need to know. We have the Ten of Wands for Taurus. The High Priestess, Taurus. Ten of Wands, or excuse me, the Hierophant. We do have the High Priestess, but this is the Hierophant for Taurus. The Hierophant. What else? Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles for Taurus. Following the Two of Pentacles. What else, please? All right. I will show the Four of Swords, but I'm going to put that back. We'll stick with this one. Knight of Cups here. What do we need to know about this Knight of Cups for Taurus? The Star. Aquarian Energy. Last but not least, following the star for Taurus. What else? And the Page of Cups here. Okay, Taurus, so of course, please only take what resonates for you. But as mentioned, following the King of Swords was the Ten of Wands. We also have the Hierophant. 
Two of Pentacles, Taurus. Knight of Cups, as well as the Star. And Page of Cups, Taurus. So this may be, and I, I said someone new or someone from the past. I feel like this is leaning towards someone from the past here, Taurus, because with the King of Swords, that's where I was saying, looking at things from a bird's eye perspective or a bird's eye view, you have an advantage of knowing how things have affected you, um, how things have went down in regards to this person or in regards to your own experiences, Taurus. But I feel like this person, Taurus, them coming back in or implying they want to fix things with you, Ten of Wands is like, I've moved on from that. I've already done this work to get to where I'm at now. I left the past in the past and I'm not a good... I'm not about to go back up that hill, but what I am going to do for myself is reach the top for myself because I know what I want. I have my eyes on the prize and I've been doing great. And maybe this person came in or came back in when they knew you were doing great Taurus or when there, there could be a lot more to it, like a lot more personal feelings that you feel about this person. And like it's like someone coming in at a vulnerable time and you can take it as okay maybe they care but maybe they they just want to test me or maybe they they just want to see how far this will go or take them this time but i feel like you have your own plan for yourself taurus and it may not be any room for them two of pentacles it's like you're in your own flow of things you're getting your own rhythm your own momentum and you handle it perfectly taurus and it's like they may not even know like how much you've been affected, whether it be because of what you faced in life, what you faced with them, what the hurt that they've caused you. It and I I do have another reading. It was one of my recent readings for Taurus, but I believe it's titled If Only They Knew Taurus, something along those lines, but it's like people may not know exactly how much you felt or internalized because you keep going Taurus so yeah I feel like you're not interested in this person and what you're more interested in Taurus is yourself and it's like even with the world card or where you're at now it's like proof that things will work out things will be better and even if it if you don't know when like just yeah, just knowing that things will be better, Taurus, and sometimes it just takes that one time for things to get better, and you could be waiting for months, a year, and then things finally get better, and then that's your own proof that things will be okay. So I feel like you've, you've seen that for yourself, Taurus, and you're very trusting here. The star card, divine timing, being divinely protected, Taurus, being watched over, Miracles do happen. Expect the unexpected in the best way possible. Don't let that worry you. And perhaps love, you're not looking for love. Love could be interesting or appealing to you, of course. But I feel like you're also trusting that it will come in time. It will align when it's supposed to. You'll get that Knight of Cups energy and that Page of Cups energy. Someone who is um, head over heels for you. Someone who can't contain themselves around you, Taurus, like someone who wants to cherish you and flatter you and admire you, compliment you in the best ways possible. And it's out there, Taurus, so don't try not to believe that it's not Taurus. But all right, so that's all we have for my Tauruses today. Let's go ahead and see what signs could be relevant. First, we do have Aries, so it is Mercury retrograde in Aries season, so could be this person from the past popping back up. We have some more fire energy with Leo, Aries, Leo, and Pisces. But Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all next time. Bye.